J-League shirts are often spectacular, sometimes mad, and very rarely dull. And the 2022 season is no exception. So let's take a look at some of the most striking designs from the 2022 J-League season. Twenty twenty two is an important year for the J League. It's the thirtieth anniversary of the league's foundation in nineteen ninety two. So many of the original ten clubs are marking this occasion with special kits that resemble designs from the nineteen nineties. The most striking is Jeff United's twenty twenty two uniform. For the last few years, Jeff had been playing in an almost luminous shade of bright yellow but this season they've gone back to their roots, and it's absolutely superb. Another original 10 team, Yokohama F Marinos, have also gone back in time for inspiration. Their 2022 shirt takes the distinctive pattern from the club's 1993 kit, and looks very smart. Udawa Reds, another original 10 team, are also celebrating their 30th anniversary this year but are going back to 2012 for inspiration, with their shirt featuring a collar for the first time since then, and it looks very stylish. And some teams are celebrating anniversaries in their own unique ways. None more so than Kawasaki Frontale, this is the club's 26th anniversary under the name Kawasaki Frontale. In Japanese, the numbers 2 and 6 can be read as furo, which means bath. So this year, the Kawasaki Frontale shirt has a bath tile design, like in a Japanese onsen or sento. FC Gifu are celebrating their 15th season as a J-League club, so this year have gone for a shirt design with more Gifu-ness. It features a design inspired by Mino Washi, a traditional paper craft from Gifu Prefecture. Gamba Osaka were one of the original 10 J-League teams, but unlike Jeff United and Yokohama F Marinos, they've decided to celebrate their 30th anniversary with a refresh. This season's shirt has been designed to show off their new badge. Let me know what you think of Gamba's new look in the comments. Kashima Antlers, an original 10 team and the most successful club in J-League history, have also had a refresh for 2022. The club say they are looking to the next 10 years with this modern design that features a very different shade of red than the club's traditional burgundy colour scheme. Are you a fan of Kashima's new style? Tokushima Prefecture is famous for Naruto Whirlpool. So this year, Vortis have adopted a Whirlpool pattern in their shirt design. Gainare Totori's 2022 kit looks like something from an army surplus store, but the concept actually reflects the abundant nature in Totori Prefecture. Vanrore Hachinohe are from the southern part of Aomori Prefecture and have taken inspiration from local culture for this year's shirt, namely Nanbu Hishizashi, which is a style of embroidery from the Hachinohe area. Love it or hate it, Viso Kobe's 2022 effort is certainly memorable and celebrates their hometown. The image on the front is Kobe Port Tower and it also incorporates Kobe's beautiful mountains and ocean view. Kamatamare Sanuki are from Kagawa Prefecture in Shikoku, which stretches along the Seto Inland Sea. The shirt is inspired by the volcanic rock formations at Cape Kaburagoshi in Kagawa Prefecture. This year's FC Ryukyu shirt features the image of a Shisa which looks like a cross between a lion and a dog. Shisa statues are often seen in pairs and are believed to ward off evil. YSCC's kit takes major influence from the club's hometown of Yokohama, in particular 
the Minato Mirai area of the city. There's also a touch of more traditional culture with the image of a temple also on the shirt. This year, Kagoshima United have outdone themselves with an incredible design. It's inspired by the patterns seen on Oshima Tsumugi, a traditional silk ponji from Kagoshima Prefecture that is often used to make kimonos. Katare Toyama have very literally referenced their local area in their shirts, incorporating the Toyama mountain skyline into the design, but I think it looks fantastic and even works well with the sponsor logo. So again, Kanazawa's 2022 uniform features a lot of influencers. It uses several different fonts, which is said to represent the different people and regions of Ishikawa Prefecture. There's also a major local influence taken from Suzumimon, a huge wooden gate outside Kanazawa Station. It wouldn't be a J-League season without lots and lots of shirts featuring wild concept designs. So here are a few of my favourites. Ori the Trinita's mascot is Nitan, a turtle. So the club have taken inspiration from Nitan to create this year's shirt, which has a turtle shell design. Ormia and Adija have also looked to their mascot for ideas. Aradija and their home city of Ormia both used the squirrel as a symbol. So Aradija have used a squirrel tail motif in this year's shirt. And the dots represent the energy of the supporters. Fukushima United have gone for a phoenix from the flames concept this season. The club say it represents a bright future despite the influence of the pandemic. Fujieda My FC's shirt this season features an image of a wisteria plant. Fuji in Japanese means wisteria, and the same Japanese character is used in the city name Fujieda. FC Imabari had some assistants designing this year's shirt. Alan Shirahama, who is an actor, DJ and musician from Ehime Prefecture, helped the club come up with this unique design. You can see the process in a YouTube video that the club put together. I'll put the link in the video description. Some real thought has gone into the Vifara Nagasaki shirts this season. The various colours on the home shirt represent a wide variety of personalities coming together in unity. A strong message about diversity. And the away shirt holds the message from Nagasaki to the world. Nagasaki was one of the first ports in Japan to be opened up to international trade, making this a very meaningful concept all round. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments your top 3 shirts from the 2022 J League season. I'll put links in the description where you can check out all of the kits. Thank you for watching.